subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Microsoft Customer Data Platform Specialist. So let's get started. Question number 1. You are a Customer Data Platform Specialist. Your company operates mainly in the business-to-business -business space. The Chief Marketing Officer asks you to implement Audience Insights, and ensure that it can handle the company's B2B scenarios and data. Which statement is correct when considering Audience Insights for business accounts versus individual consumers? Your options are A. The out-of-the-box product recommendation prediction model is available for business accounts. B. Data ingestion features are different for business accounts and individual customers. C. Some enrichment types are available only for individual customer scenarios, while others are exclusively available for business accounts. D. Business accounts and individual consumers share the same audience insights environment. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 2, you are a customer data platform specialist. Your company's chief marketing officer learns about Dynamics 365 customer insights engagement insights capability. Your CMO wants to understand how engagement insights can be used to enhance audience insights. Which two statements describe the benefits of engagement insights? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. It allows you to collect, measure, and understand customer behavior on your website. B. It allows you to create new customer profiles within engagement insights, that can be exported to audience insights. C. It allows you to send new customer leads directly to a marketing automation platform. D. It allows you to link audience insights, and engagement insights environments to enable bi-directional data flow. The correct answers are, option A, and D. Question number 3, you are a customer data platform specialist. You completed all the steps in the match phase of the data unification process in the audience insights. You need to review and validate your match results. Which three metrics are available for you to validate the results? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. Unique matched records B. Matched records only C. Matched and non-matched records D. Unique source records. The correct answers are, option B, C, and D. Question number 4, you are a customer data platform specialist. You are in the process of implementing audience insights at a bank. You finish setting up the different initial data sources. You are starting the unification process. Which three tasks do you need to perform in the mapping phase of the unification process? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. Identify the primary keys and semantic field types within the different entities. B. Identify the entities that you need to unify into a single profile. C. Identify the prioritization of similar fields between different entities. D. Select the fields you want to include the unified customer profile. The correct answers are, option A, B, and D. Number 5. You are a customer data platform specialist. Your marketing team is in the process of mapping entities and attributes in the data unification process of audience insights. You are assisting them with completing this task. Which two statements correctly describe how audience insights handles the mapping of semantic types for entity attributes? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are a. Attributes that are automatically mapped to a semantic type cannot be remapped to a custom semantic type. B. Attributes must be mapped to the semantic type of ID in order to be used as a primary key for the entity. C. The Define the Data in the Unmapped field section shows attributes that are not automatically mapped to a semantic type. D. The Review Mapped field section shows all attributes for which a semantic type is automatically identified. The correct answer is, option D. Number 6, you are a customer data platform specialist. Your organization is using Power Query when connecting to data sources in Audience Insights. You need to load e-commerce contacts to Audience Insights. 
which statement about loading data to audience insights using Power Query is correct. Your options are A. You must create a separate Power Query data source for each entity you wish to ingest. B. Power Query automatically recognizes header rows in files when you use the text or CSV connector. C. After you save a Power Query data source, you have to manually trigger the initial refresh process. D. You can add additional entities to the data source using get data functionality in the Power Query. The correct answer is, option D. 7. You are a customer data platform specialist. Your information technology team created the customer profile records by unifying the account, contact, and web account tables. After unification was complete, the team noticed that three relationships were created automatically, customer to contact, customer to account and customer to web account. The team needs to know how they can configure and update these three relationships. What feedback should you provide? Your options are A. Relationships created via the unification process can be edited by those with contributor level access. B. You can edit each of the three relationships by clicking into the Relationship tab, and selecting Edit. C. You cannot edit any of the three relationships, as they are non-editable system relationships. D. Relationships created via the unification process can only be edited by those with administrator level access. The correct answer is, option C. 8. You are a customer data platform specialist. Audience Insights users state that they are not able to quickly find details on specific customers while searching customer profiles. You explain the index and search capabilities within Audience Insights. Which two statements are correct about configuring and using search and filter index capabilities? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. You can add up to 25 custom fields to index and configure filtering for each one of the fields as an administrator. B. The only fields that are available for indexing are the ones that exist in the customer profile that you created during the data unification process. C. You can only add a filter for a specific field from the search and filter index page in Audience Insights. D. Users with a contributor role can add fields on the search and filter index page in Audience Insights and configure how many filtered records to show. The correct answers are, option B, and C. 9. You are a customer data platform specialist. Your company's information technology team wants to use the out-of-the-box customer lifetime value machine learning capabilities that come with Audience Insights, but the team has some concerns about the suitability of their data. You need to confirm if their research about data requirements is correct. Which two statements are correct about the data characteristic requirements for configuring the CLVML model? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. There should be at least two to three transactions per customer ID, preferably across multiple dates. B. There should be at least 100,000 unique customers to perform the CLV model. C. There should be preferably two to three years of transactional data to predict CLV for one year. D. The CLV model will not run if there is any missing data in the fields. The correct answers are, option A, and C. Your team developed and integrated a batch inferencing pipeline to Audience Insights. This allows for a new custom machine learning model to run, and deliver new insights to your unified profile's data. Your team is manually running the custom machine learning workflows. Which statement is correct about allowing your workflow to run automatically with every scheduled refresh? Your options are A. You can configure scheduled refreshes for Audience Insights from Azure ML, where you developed the custom ML model. B. Your team can set up scheduled refreshes that allow your workflow to run automatically. C. Your team needs to manually trigger your custom machine learning workflows. D. Scheduled refreshes are not supported for custom machine learning models that are connected to Audience Insights. The correct answer is, option B. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.